Hello, and welcome to Blue Beamer in Docsland. This series of short videos is aimed at those using programs, like Blue Beam Review, to get comfortable with similar workflows using BIM 360 Docs. These videos will also be helpful to those learning BIM 360 Docs for the first time, even if the workflows are new. Now let's dive in. Today's video, How OCR Works in BIM 360 Docs. All right, here we are in the BIM 360 Docs environment. I'm going to navigate to our PDFs. And now we'll take a look at what we can do with OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition, which just is a fancy way of saying it can scan our PDFs and look for the drawing number and the drawing name and pull those sheets out and give them the proper number and proper name. So. The way we will get started is by uploading a new series of PDFs. So I can click the upload version, navigate to where our PDFs are, select our PDFs, say OK, and it'll bring up this thing saying we're uploading our files, this is the process. So if I select OK, it's going to initialize by taking a look at what we have inside of the document. Once it has finished, it will ask you if you want to use a layout template. And then you can choose the template that you want from anyone that already exists. Now, if one doesn't exist, you can create one from scratch. So I say continue. Now, as it's going through the process of extracting the information, we have the ability of hitting this little arrow, which is this guy up here, that'll let us go back and do our everyday work as we're working along inside of the process. Once we're finished, we can then come back and carry on. While we're waiting for the process to complete, let me show you how we would go about creating a new title block. So as you can see, it'll walk us through the process saying step one of two, crop the area where you want the title block to be. So we select our little image crop and choose the area where the title block is going to be. And then we select next. Now as it's processing, it's going to come up with two questions. So give it a name once we have given a name then we get to choose specifically where the number is going to be so I select this and I use my uh, crop region again and I highlight the area where the number is going to be now you want to be careful to make sure you you select everything that's in the area but nothing extra you'll see it knows that it's A001 and then we do the same thing by selecting where the title may be and again this is going to be different on each project so if you have multiple projects you may have multiple title blocks so now the name, title block, number, plan, so it knows all that information. I can say save. And then, then we'll save this title block inside of our library so that we can use that to process future PDFs. All right, so with the new batch of PDFs that we're bringing up, let's use the layout or the template we just created, title block, to process these. Again, as it's processing, we do have the ability to hit the little arrow and wait until it's finished. Once the plans are complete, you'll see that we get this little number one red pop-up in our corner, which tells us we can move to the next step. So as we select that, you will see that our PDFs are ready to view. So I select view. And now it's going to show us what it extracted. So this is how we review to make sure that everything is correct. So it's going to show us the number, and then it's going to show us the name. And we sort of scroll through to make sure that everything's correct. Now in this particular instance, down here at the bottom, there's just a cover page that doesn't actually have anything in the information. So then we can tweak that. So I'm just going to say CS for cover sheet. And I'm going to say cover, better do it all caps. And now I'm finished. So now I can say save. So it saves the process. And once it's finished saving, we can then publish all. And when we publish all, that's how we send it out so that everyone on the team has access to the content. And then once again, we can hit the little arrow and wait for it to finish. Once the process is complete, you will now see that it says status publish. We can now view. And it will take us to the content. And we see that we now have 25 total sheets have been published. If I say look in folder, it will take us to the folder. We now have access to all the sheets. 
all of our markups and issues from the previous version have been slip sheeted to the next version and we are now inside of version 3 and if we quickly, quickly click on one of the pages when it comes into play we will see that it is in fact sheet A101 lower level so it was able to take a PDF document that was one PDF document extract each individual sheet and give it the proper name and number. Well that's the end of the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and come back to watch some more. Have a good day now.